good day. This is Tata Tuemposeva doing another video. First and foremost, I just want to say that I do not claim to have the absolute truth. With this being said, the topic is ensunga or tobacco. I've been getting quite a few requests about this uh, topic. Whether or not there are videos or any type of information out there, I have no idea, but since I'm getting a number of these requests, so I'm doing this video on it. Like I said before, the word of the day is Nsunga, and that's what we call tobacco in this beautiful religion called Palo Mayombe. Now, Nsunga tobacco is used in just about every African-based religion out there, including Epidemo, it's just it's, it's an essential part of spirituality, in other words. Now, in Sunga, it activates the spiritual flow. It kind of, sort of, excites the spirits. You know, it helps the spirit to manifest its energy in this material plane that we live in. So, that's another tool that's used to do that. Now, through the tobacco smoke, it's possible to set up a spiritual reception in order to communicate with the spirits. So, like I said, that, 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 I'm, I'm, saying, I'm saying things that probably most of you know, but for those that don't, I'm just going to go over a few things. Now, that is why it's good practice to say an invocation directly to the cigar in order to start cracking up the energy needed in order to attract whatever spirit or spirits you're trying to uh, get through, to come through. And that is why we tend to do certain markings on the cigar because you're going to be invoking a certain spirit you don't want no other energy besides that energy coming through from the cigar, from the energy of the cigar. So you don't want no other energy holding holding that energy hostage and not getting to where it's supposed to go. Now, let me explain something about the cigar smoke. It's needed... The essence of the cigar smoke is needed just like the essence of the blood from the sacrifices is needed. It's 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 needed in order to charge up the spirits and also to allow them to manifest not only their energy, but also um, sp uh, spiritual works. I mean, I'll, I'll give you an example. The best way to use smoke in itself will be I'll give you an example a little incense, incense burner this one I've had for a while but to put the charcoal in here you light it up and once it's bright red then you throw in whatever incense you're working with or even dry flowers from your spiritual altar in there and <clears throat> once that starts to smoke up real good this is time for you to take advantage of that and start doing your petition you do your prayers you 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 you, you petition what whatever it is you try to petition in that smoke to bring that help that you're seeking because at the end of the day that smoke spiritually must go to wherever place it's supposed to go so that is your sure, fast way in order for your petition, your prayers, whatever you want to call it, for it to get to where it's supposed to get all the time. It's, it's guaranteed. A lot of people use that. I don't know if uh, this information has been told to people, but whatever the case may be, I told you now. Now, cigar smoke is really important because it also helps to purify not only you, 
but also any animals that are, are going to be used in any ritual. But more importantly, it helps to purify the spirit. Yes, you heard me correctly. There are some spirits that also need our help, just like we need their help. So here, and I'll show you the science behind this. Let me, let me do my little childlike drawings. Show you the science behind the power of this cigar smoke. All right, bear word with me. All right, it's my drawing of a rooster. All right, so here, first, you grab this animal and you're gonna blow rum over it. Then you're gonna come and gra grab a well lit cigar and then you're gonna grab its entire body and just like with that cigar, just give it smoke, smoke, smoke. Now the reason you're doing this is, see the, the essence, the energy. So <clears throat> even animals could be, could bring negative energies. Especially if the person that handled that animal before it handed it to you, it's like it has a heavy charge, but it's most definitely going to transfer over. So it's like a wet sponge that's soaked up. I mean, really soaked up. So you got water on the floor and you're trying to use a really soaked up sponge to suck up that water. Impossible. First, you have to squeeze that sponge. Get all that water out, and then in order for it to fluff up once it's dry, and it's actually able to suck up that water. Same principle. You have to discharge this animal of whatever negativity, and we use the rum and the and sunga for that. Then you can cleanse yourself or that person with this animal. Now... Like I said, you drain the sponge. Now the sponge is able to drain that energy around you that you try to prevent before you do your ritual with that animal. It's as simple as that. It's not that complicated. Uh, and I'm assuming most people do know that, but I, I figure there's a couple people out there don't know it, so I'll put it out there. Now, tobacco is extremely important. It, it's a it's a very extremely important ingredient in a lot of spiritual works in order to entice a particular spirit or spirits to do the task for you so whenever you're putting your ingredients together with your patipembas if you're working with that type of work that day it's just say example and then you're putting all your ingredients in there it's necessary to put pieces of insunga in there because you're trying to entice that spirit or spirits to come and get payment for, for working with you. Now, another thing about Nsunga, the spirits tend to communicate with us through the actual cigar. I mean, I'll, I'll just give you an example. If the Nsunga is not burning uniform, if it's burning more to one side or the other side, right away it's telling you, there's something extremely wrong here. Might be with you, might be with the person next to you, whatever. It could be with the person where you guys are trying to help out that day. Whatever the case may be, the Spirit's telling you, stop what you're doing and start investigating. Now it's time for you to put on your hat and start working with the chamalongo start asking the qu the questions the proper questions to the spirits and get the proper answers because they're definitely telling you there's something that is not correct here now there's a thousand one examples but i'm not trying to make a very long video so that's one they they speak through the insunga now 
Another thing that Sunga is used for, and this one's a big one, like I, I mentioned a little earlier, and Sunga can and should be used for as a type of payment to the spirits. And this includes any spirit, not just the ones that live in your cauldron. Any spirit. So, all right, every time that you go, wherever you have to go to do your spiritual works, whether it's the a forest, a river, wherever the case may be, wherever you're doing that. I always recommend that you, of course, you got to take your offerings. You have to make your payment for entering those sacred grounds. And especially if you're going to retrieve something from there, you have to pay your payment. But on top of that, from those ingredients, I always leave a payment of insunga because no matter what, type of spirit why uh white light dark light whatever spirit we're talking about they need that energy to help them out they, they that's something that is they're drawn to to the cigar so i always tend to leave that as a payment any and all times i do any workings but that's just me i know a lot of people don't do don't do it that way but now if I miss anything, leave anything, leave everything in the comment. I mean, I'm not trying to do a super long video on this. Like I said, most of this information should be common information. Stay humble and be kind to one another. And until next time, may Sambi bless you and yours. And salam alaikum.